This is a quick tutorial for Illustrator CS5 to show you the use of the abstract plugin from graphicextras.com, volume one of Andrew's Vectors plugins. Right, just going to show you quickly. It's up for PC and it's also for the Mac. Right, I'm just going to show you the location for installing the uh, plugin. So, program files, program files, Adobe. Adobe Illustrator CS5 and put it into the plugins folder. So graphic extras, I've just created a sort of a part, third party uh, folder for plugins and various things. So I've just put it in there, an AIP file. Right, now go back to Illustrator. Right, now, filters. Now all the plugins in CS5 are now located in the object menu, filters and you will see it here in the crate AVP crate so I'm just going to display that now depends really on the startup of the uh, for the plugin so if you've got a fill and a stroke you'll actually see the fill and stroke here if you had no fill then you would actually see nothing there it would just be the lines uh, if you had no stroke you would just see the blue at that point the color of the design the initial point of the design is actually depends on the color of the fill or stroke so you have to actually set those if you want a, a particular color now I'm just going to quickly reset that so that's the default settings now number of lines you can actually create quickly a number of lines you can increase the number of lines and also have very few lines if you wish so it goes down to number of things actually defined by the artboard size so so that's uh, you can also increase the number of sets so these are the groupings of things so there's now four batches of these things all random so there might be there's 123 lines but obviously the design is actually different in each case you can actually see underline there the actual lines of the other sets right so if actually I do opacity you can actually see through that and actually see that randomizes the opacity so you can maybe have opacity of 100 or 50 or whatever right just you can actually randomize the fill so each of those sets now have a ran has a random fill I can also randomize the stroke color so the stroke color is actually set also you can use the fill swap so you can actually set up a batch of different colors say like re all reds so the design would actually be all red by using the fill so you can just go through using maybe like the color guide or something so you can get a ni nice harmonious design and again with the stroke swatches also you can randomize the width of each thing so each of these widths these lines the grouping of a, for a set is actually random width depending on the initial stroke size there you also right I'm just going to go to the curves and things this is the first panel and I've, I've increased the number size if you you can reduce the size of the jitter distance so that's uh, so it reduces down so that the actual distance between each of the points is actually reduced by that so if it's 400 which is default whatever it would actually be a larger than uh, so now it's a lot smaller so I'm just going to quickly reset that and you can also curve the designs so I'm just going to make them curved so you can create unusual designs there. again you just click OK at this point and then you can save that as an actual path it is, that's all it is is a path so you can also you can of course copy it into the art um, symbols or maybe create a brush from those designs there's many possibilities there there's also many settings for the interpolation of the curve also settings again there's a number of settings like you can randomize the, the curve to create uh, so the, the value is not say like 45 for each of the designs it's actually some value between 0 and 45 you can also extend the right limit to document so you can actually so if actually I go and select a slightly larger, well slightly larger it actually extends beyond the document size so you don't you're not just limited to the artboard at that point if you set that value uncheck it I should say also just cancel that point you can also select a path and then go back into the plugin object again filters abstract and now that selected object is actually placed on each of the the points of that I think underline obviously there's some underline there because some of the paths have overlapped on top of the other this point on the original path right settings you can also put this onto a new layer 
So each time you create a new, so if you go back to here and put those, on, each of those are actually on a new layer. So you can create, say, animations with this design. So I'm just decrease the number of, at that point, layers. Also, you can random scale these things so that all the dots or whatever, it could be any shape, of course. It could be uh, uh, an unusual design as well as a, uh, just a more basic one like a circle. So you can randomize those. Now, there's various presets already built into things, so various designs. So it extends out like that. Also, you can, I'm just going to reset that, shuffle between the values. So you just basically just click the shuffle until you hit a design that you like. Tumble, you can actually go through a whole range of different settings just by clicking the tumble. This randomizes the values. So if I go back to here, so you can actually see 152 there, 3 there. It's going through the whole range of settings. So just click OK at that point. But there's there's thousands of other things you can do with this. Com combine it in many different ways to create uh, really unusual abstract designs as well as very basic designs. Create it for film uh, frames or use it for uh, creating stained glass effects. So on. of course, once you've actually created a design, you can then apply effects to it, uh, graphic styles and all those sort of things. Also, you can apply text to the designs as well. Right, click. OK, at that point, so that's it, saved. And as I say, you've just got a standard part here, which you can then recolor if you wish. So if you decide you don't like the, uh, the mustard color, you can make it green. Okay.